it's Trisha here. Um, I've got about 10 minutes before I am due to pick up my son from cross country. So that's a mercy um, because this is also my very first um, installment of my right now life. Um, so my right now life uh, is just a segment where Marianne and Snow and I just wish to be able to just tell you where we're at, tell you the things that um, really right where we're at, uh, what we're struggling with, what um, what our life looks like. Um, so anyway, because time is short and I have a lot of words normally, um, I'm going to try to keep it um, as succinct as possible. Um, the season in life I'm in, I've got my four kids, and that's probably the very biggest ministry I have before me. And um, with that, um, sometimes a little bit of, I think the word that comes up is a little bit of resentment, um, you know, like what it requires of us, um, and sometimes the fear of maybe I'm missing out on something else that might be more important. All lies, 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 but you know, they're just kind of there. Um, anyway, just uh, really asking the Lord to renew this commitment in my heart to just help me to see it as He does, um, that this very well might be the most important thing I ever do. And um, I don't know, He just continually reminds me that this really is, it, it's a divine privilege. And um, so anyway, kind of back there. And uh, so anyway, at the ages that they're at, 15, 13, 10, and 5, they each come with their own um, their own set of challenges and um, anyway especially recently um, with my boys um, one in particular is just he doesn't have yet his um, sister's uh, work ethic or his brother's charismatic personality and can just you know um, be as easily likable uh, even especially especially when he gets into trouble so anyway um, Recently, just having, it just seems like we are constantly struggling, um, getting, I mean, it's, we're like three weeks into school, people, three weeks, and I have gotten four emails from his teachers. He can't sit still, he doesn't pay attention, he just, just he just does things um, without thinking, and, um, you know, part of it is being normal, 10-year-old, some of it, um, we're just figuring out, like, um, what do, what does he really need? Um, but anyway, my, where I'm at, where I'm struggling at is my heart toward him. Um, often my husband and I just catch ourselves. I mean, I'll catch him, but then when I recognize that he's doing it, I also see that, oh, crap, that's, I'm doing that too. We're just, we're frustrated and um, I lash out and I speak harsh words. And when I'm really done, done, I just, I just want to separate from him. When I'm just done. I've had all the fun I can handle, you know, right? And so just asking the Lord, like, how do I do this, Lord? I, I prayed for this child. Um, I try to speak truth into him, but I feel like I'm often just resorting to, um, I don't know, to punishments and um, just verbal berating sometimes and it breaks my heart because I know that that's not the kind of father our Heavenly Father is and when I consider what how uh, the the father that Jesus knew um, who was patient who is kind who is long-suffering who is provider who is trustworthy trustworthy um, that he is grace filled and folks, um, I think sometimes we misinterpret grace and permissiveness, you know, um, that grace doesn't say that our wrong is okay. It still calls out wrong, but rather it just seeks out um, transformation in our heart, though. And so I think, I don't know, that's what I'm struggling with is how do I do this well, Lord? How do I transfer dependence from Jason and I? How do I teach? said child, all of them really, how to depend on you. Um, so anyway, so today I heard a podcast um, and um, I am not right now recalling the podcast. I will get back with you. But I do know that who was being interviewed was a man named, um, it's author Paul David Tripp. 
and he has written some parenting books. But anyway, he talked about, you know, um, again, learning to parent um, from a kingdom perspective, um, meaning that, you know, how rather than drawing back from what perhaps we may have learned from our parents, you know, um, whether it's anger, whether it's withdrawal, whether it's, you know, performance, whatever it is, but rather that our parenting should be more informed by the narrative, the the God that Jesus knew, you know? Um, and that uh, just a reminder that God loves us no matter what. And if God is grace filled enough, um, if he reveals something wrong in our lives, uh, a sin in my life, um, that it's good news for me. It's really good news for me that I can trust him and I can hand this over to him. And in the same manner, I feel like as parents, we should be able to do that with our children. You know, that the wrong that I see in them, um, the behavior, uh, the sin, the, um, the deceit, whatever it is, um, that that's God's opportunity or that's God giving me an opportunity to be an instrument of his grace to kind of point to help coach my child back into a, a place where they can kind of examine the circumstance and um, their reaction to it and that that reaction is really not um, like the circumstance didn't make them do it but rather it's their feeling and getting back to that you know, like, what, what were you thinking? How were you feeling in that moment? Um, why did you, you know, what were you seeking to accomplish with that bad, you know, behavior or that, um, or that lie or whatever it is? Um, what were you seeking to accomplish? And that, you know, through that process, you know, as, as we coach them, we really are just asking really good questions to our kids um, that help reveal to them kind of like, their heart and their need you guys it's blowing my mind right now their need for God so um, anyway I think in a way I'm kind of I mean yes I'm, I'm struggling and yet I've just gotten this fresh hope um, just listening to this particular author um, I hope to be checking out his book and reading a little bit more and um, just keeping the faith so I just want to say a quick prayer for parents out there that are really struggling with just look, you know, choices of their children and just, um, Lord, sometimes we just, we, we misinterpret this whole thing, Lord. We make it about us and not about our children that are actually reaching out, that are asking for our help. Um, Father, I just pray that right now, um, for anyone that's listening, Lord, for parents or grandparents or aunts, uncles, Lord, that they're just in a season of life, Lord, where they are coaching, um, where they are raising up a new generation, Father, that you would just endow them with your wisdom, Father. Uh, Lord, may we just be students of this God that Jesus knew. May we um, just become so secure in that uh, character of God, Lord, that we can trust, that we can trust him, that we can trust you, Lord. Um, Father, I just, in order, uh, I'm just having this thought, Lord, that, you know, in order to be grace givers in this process of raising children, Lord, we must first be grace receivers. And so, Lord, help us to receive your grace, Lord, and we just thank you for it. Um, thank you for being a good, good father. Thank you for being patient and kind. And thank you for um, just... Lord, revealing to us the things, the ugliness in us, Lord, so that we may bring it to you, we may bring it to the light, and that it would be healed. Um, Father, I just I just thank you for Holy Spirit, and I just ask for just a fresh anointing for each of us, Lord, that are out there doing this very difficult job, Lord. Um, just bless them, uh, bless us in this holy, holy work. We love you, Lord, and we just thank you for what you're doing. Help us to just see and hear you at work all around us. It's in his name we pray. Amen. All right. Be blessed, friends. Gotta go. Mwah.